Okay, I've placed some buildings and some shapes to demonstrate this terrain tool technique you can use. We're going to cover everything up and make sure your scenery lock is off when you do this. And when you do use the flat tool, you're going to want to check the sides and make sure it's all completely covered. So we're going to go to settings and check our collision tools. And most people advise you to have all these on when you set up Planet Coaster. If you watch tutorials on how people have their settings, most people have these all on. You're going to want this one off the disabled terrain collision otherwise this trick won't work for example the settings currently on I'm gonna try and mold around it it's not working even with the scenery lock off and on it's not doing anything so we're gonna go back to settings and we're gonna make sure that is off and now we're going to try with the scenery lock left on we're going to mold into the object So something important here is to realise when you place down an object and mould around it, it needs to be placed on the world axis to get a smooth effect. And if you place it off the world axis then you're going to get a bit of a wavy sort of effect as you can see here. Another thing to note is the object that you're molding around, the mold is going to be slightly bigger so if your gaps ain't big enough you're not going to be left with gaps in the final mold. So you can see here the gaps are a lot bigger and you can actually see the gaps, those gaps are too small so you have to bear that in mind when you're building like this. Here's another quick example of that where I've got this doorway that goes through this wall. I had to delete several panels just to create that small door. And once you're happy with your modes, you can highlight everything and you can delete them and you're going to get your memory back as you can see it jumped from 24 percent down to 15 this is the castle I've been building using the same methods and at the moment the memory is 49 percent but if I delete the foundations it drops down to 15 percent so it's a good alternative to using objects to create your buildings you can create buildings using this method and then you can use that memory to add detail and add scenery 
so it will be good to see other people attempt to use this if you're interested and if you're having trouble with the Oswald Council then uh, this this might help solve your issue so I'll just leave the video showing what other things I've done with it uh, thanks for watching